The New South Wales government is debating strengthening hate speech laws as it comes under pressure to address a recent rise in anti-Semitism. Julia Bradley is inside New South Wales Parliament. Julia, it wants to ensure laws can be more easily enforced. It does, Danica. The government very much under pressure now to do more to tackle hate speech in the wake of this rise in anti-Semitism, which we've seen in Sydney. The government's also under pressure from faith-based groups like Faith Based New South Wales and the Jewish Board of Deputies to do more to stop these incidents from occurring in the first place. Now, the government flagged yesterday that it is open to changing the state's hate speech laws introduced back in 2018 under Section 93Z of the Crimes Act. This stipulates that it's an offence for someone to incite violence based on religion or race. Now, introduced in 2018, there haven't been any successful convictions since. Some of these faith-based groups arguing that the bar is set simply too high to achieve a conviction. The problem we've got at the moment is the bar is set too high. We haven't had a successful conviction. So people in the community are feeling, is this really a deterrent and does it really protect me? So the community is looking for right across the faith community. So it's not just the Jewish, it's the Muslim, the, the Hindu, the, the uh, Jewish and also the Christian. We're looking for people to be protected so that people can feel safe and that they know that there's real penalties for people that do uh, incite to hatred. Since 2018, there have been two convictions, but they had to be annulled. And that's because police didn't get the consent from the Director of Public Prosecutions, which is a requirement under this particular law. The government is looking at scrapping this aspect of it. And we are looking at those laws to ensure that they're implemented both in word and deed. There's no point in having these rules and regulations and laws on the books if in the end they're not applied. And I don't think anyone with a straight face, Sarah, could make the claim that we've solved uh, uh, or that there isn't racism or racial vilification in New South Wales. Since the October 7 attack on Israel by Hamas, we have seen a spate of anti-Semitic incidents, including that protest outside of Sydney's Opera House a number of days after that, when we heard some of the attendees chant, gas the Jews. The New South Wales opposition leader, Mark Speakman, says the current laws should be effective in practice. Uh, I would have thought our current criminal provisions uh, against threatening or inciting violence on the basis of race or religion would cover that. So it, it seems to me in that episode, it's not a failure of the law. Uh, it's a failure to allow these circumstances to have happened. In the While the opposition says it's open to working with the government to strengthen these laws, it does hold some reservations that new laws could be weaponised against speech, which may be controversial, uh, but is lawful. So they're wanting to really sit down and work out exactly what needs to be changed. Danica. Julia Bradley, thank you.